Okay, so what happened to the marketing training inside of network marketing business models? So I started my network marketing company in 2009. And the crazy thing is that they never taught any marketing. They just said, go out and talk to people. Well, half of the word of the profession is marketing. Don't you think it's important that we should be learning at least simple marketing to get our businesses out there and to grow a thriving business in the profession? So to close that gap that you might be experiencing on marketing training with your company, how do you get more people to talk to you? How do you get more people to say yes? How do you find people that are already interested in what it is that you have as far as your product, service, or business goes? To close the gap in this video, I'm gonna actually share with you five of my favorite simple marketing strategies that you can start employing in your business right away that can help you get your business and message out there and help you find the people that are perfect and already interested in what it is that you're selling or offering up in your business model. So stay tuned. My name is Tanya Eliza and I help entrepreneurs and network marketers create success faster while most importantly making sure that you build a lifestyle that you love. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So the thing that bugs me a lot is that marketing is never taught in network marketing. Why? Because it's hard to train marketing on a mass scale. I mean, you have people from all over different walks of life, educated, not educated, whatever, coming into network marketing. And so what the network marketing companies have to do is they have to find a way to mass train. And typically that mass training isn't going to involve learning marketing because they think it might scare people away. But here's the thing is if you are really serious and about building a network marketing company, a business that is in the seven, six figure range, six figure, seven figure range, you are going to have to learn a little bit of marketing because every business on planet earth has to learn a little bit of marketing. And PS, just going out and talking to more people is not marketing. So like I said, to close the gap in this video, I'm going to share with you five extremely easy ways that you can can employ as far as marketing goes to get your message out there to help you attract better clients, prospects, and customers to your product, service, or business. Now, before I share that, I always like to give you a really fabulous free resource in every episode of Tanya Eliza TV. And in this episode, we actually have something very special going on that we just kind of launched depending on when you're watching this video. And I thought since you're interested watching this video because you want to learn how to get more clients and prospects and, and business signed up into your dealio, I thought that I would give you a really cool invite to a brand new online class that I have going on. And it's so new that I'm still reading the details here on it, but we're gonna be giving away a lot of really cool training on this um, online class. And I'm gonna basically pull back the curtains and show you on that web class. And it's free by the way, I'm gonna show you how um, I've been enrolling two to five new teammates into my network marketing business and how we have um, gotten to top three recruiter status in less than 16 months in our business. And so I'm actually doing this live masterclass and it's all about social media, um, building your business with more leverage using online social media strategies. And if that's of interest to you, then you can actually register for that at tanyaeliza.com for, um, forward slash 43 download, the number 43 download. We'll leave a link for you in the description box wherever you're watching this video, above or below. Um, or if you're already on my blog, there's gonna be a yellow button underneath this video and you can click that video, you can get registered and I'll be pulling back the curtains and showing you exactly what we do in my business. But let's get into the five simple ways you can start marketing your business today. So here's the goal. You wanna turn your active work into passive work. Now this doesn't happen overnight, but it can happen and it's really cool. So basically, you want to automate more of your business if you can. And that's done through the right means of marketing. Okay. So let's start working smarter rather than harder. And that's my whole world and philosophy and everything that I teach. Okay. So one cool thing that you can do to maximize your social media and get more interested people into your world through an, a, a passive marketing strategy that I like to employ is when you post an image on Facebook, did you know that you can actually apply it to a, a photo album or you can tag it to a photo album? 
phone. So in your business, think about photos that you could share relevant to sharing a story about your product, service, or business. So I'll give you an example. One photo album could be success stories or um, income success stories or testimonial success stories, um, product testimonials, um, or service testimonials, whatever business that you're in. And every week on one day of the week or maybe two days a week, you gotta get consistent with this strategy. You add a new image to that album, okay? Now, when you add the new image to that album, you're gonna actually share a post that goes with it with a link or a call to action for people to connect with you more. Now, if you are gonna share a link, make sure it's a link to a capture form or lead magnet that you have with a free resource or something that you give away. If you're not at that point with your business yet and you're not following that strategy of mine, make sure that you don't post a company replicated website link. You are posting then a call to action that says, hey, connect with me privately to learn more. If you're interested in learning how to make this possible for your life, your world, whatever story you're sharing, um, have a call to action for be able to connect with you. So for example, um, your team right now or your upline or your downline or your sideline, they'll all have little stories that you can share. Maybe you get a success magazine from your company. You can shoot a picture of um, you know, one of the success stories and you can share in the Facebook post what you liked most about it. There's a way to use some uh, success stories if you don't have any of your own yet in your business. And then you can post a little call to action that says, um, I'm, so, I'm so excited. You can say, I just got this uh, month's issue of our company's success stories. John was able to go on five vacations with his family this year. He's never been able to do that before. I'm so excited for John. Hey, by the way, if you'd like to learn more about what we're working on and how you can maybe have some more vacations happen for you and your family, uh, reach out to me, private message me. I'll share some information with you, you know? And then every week you actually post to that photo album that is a product success story photo album. And so you're adding this bank of photo albums and you're consistent with it on your social media with a call to action for people to reach out. And so your photo albums are actually, why it's important, your photo albums are actually one of the um, most viewed pieces of content on your social media profile because people are snooping on you and they want to know what your life looks like. So give them something really juicy to look at with a cool, like relatable story and then ask them to reach out to you for more information. Marketing tip number two, you can do Facebook ads. Now, I love Facebook ads because um, you Facebook is just getting really smart. And so they can target your ads to like the right people based on all of the data that they collect. And you can do something as simple as boost a post to get more action. And you can do that from your Facebook page. Now, if you don't know how to do that, I'll leave a resource on my blog at tanyaliza.com forward slash 43 download. In there, there'll be a resource section. And if you don't know how to do Facebook ads, or you're not doing them for your business yet, or maybe you don't even have a Facebook business page yet, I'll leave a resource called Unlimited Fan Page Profits, which is a cool training that I have that'll show you how to use uh, Facebook more effectively for your business if you're not already doing that. But Facebook ads are a really simple, easy, cheap, cost-effective way to get your message out there to the right people fast. One of my favorite strategies and marketing tip number three is YouTube videos. Love YouTube videos because you can go viral fast if you have a fun, informative video for people. So if you're not already doing video for your business, make sure you adjust adopt video yesterday for your business. It is that powerful. Um, I'll leave some resources in my, on my blog post as well at tannyalize.com forward slash 43 download. If you're not already doing video and you'd like to learn more about doing video for your business, here's the cool thing. You're watching this video right now. I'm not filming this video right now. I've already filmed it and I might be sipping margaritas on the beach and you are watching my information. Wouldn't that be cool if somebody was watching your information while you were sipping margaritas on the beach? My fourth favorite marketing strategy is blogging. I do a blog post every single week. We spend about an hour putting it together and those blog posts generate hundreds and hundreds of leads every single day for our business, which is super awesome. So you're not already blogging, make sure to check out my ultimate branding blueprint training. Um, It's all about setting up a blog properly for your business to generate lots of leads and sales for whatever business that you happen to be in. But blogging is really cool because you can actually post a blog post. And I actually take my YouTube videos and then I post it on my blog. So I kind of get like double real estate. Um, But by doing that, um, I'm gonna be actually creating a community over on my blog. I'll have more control over the people on my blog, the things that they see, the things that they're exposed to, that sort of thing. Um, But basically it also helps me with my credibility and authority that I have with my audience. And if you're an entrepreneur and you really wanna kind of get to that multiple six, seven figure level and you wanna completely control your business, blogging is definitely an absolute must that I say for all of my clients and all of the people that come into my 
marketing world. So marketing tip number four, blogging, blogging, and blogging. Marketing tip number five, if you are not already doing some kind of webinar in your business, you need to be doing webinars. Now here's the cool thing is I have been doing webinars for years and years and years now. When I found the power of webinars, I was like, oh my goodness. Because what I was doing before was home meetings for my business, right? Maybe you can relate. Well, in a home meeting, how many people do you have in a home meeting? Maybe five, 10, 20, maybe a maybe hundred if you have a really big home meeting or a, a conference that you're doing, right? But the thing is, is that is kind of it, you're capped. Now, if you do a webinar, right, and you promote it via a Facebook event, or you promote it via your Instagram or your blog, and you invite people to this webinar, your exposure is like 100 times greater than just your living room presentation, right? So you can invite all people from all over the world, can log into this webinar, and you can use webinar platforms like, you know, EverWebinar or Webinar Jam or GoToMeeting. Um, there's lots of them out there. I'll leave some resources for you if you like like um, on my blog in the resource section. But basically, um, once you can figure out the power of webinars, you can just see, well, I can impact so many more people with webinars. And then what you can do is after you're done recording that webinar, you can take that webinar and you can repurpose it and you can put it on your Facebook page. You can upload videos right to Facebook, right? Now more people, your Facebook network can actually see that webinar where you're explaining the benefits and sharing stories about your product, service, or business with a call to action. You can also take that webinar after it's recorded and you can put it up on your YouTube channel, right? Then you can take that YouTube and then you can embed it on your blog and you've got a ton more um, places of exposure that you can send people to to get the information. Now, while you're sipping margaritas on the beach and somebody wants to be exposed to your you know, product, service, or business, you can say, hey, go over to my blog. I've got a video on that. Watch the video and then give me a call right back. Or you, know, you call them back or book the time when they're gonna watch that. It's absolutely one of the most leveraged, automated things that you can do for your business is webinar. So with that being said, if you are interested and learning more exactly uh, my system for my business. So how I generate, yeah, we generate over a hundred leads a day. Um, people who are interested and want to hear more about our business. Um, also from those people, we go on to enroll upwards plus, you know, two to five plus, plus, plus people for our network marketing team, which is kind of cool. And I can do this all via anywhere in the world on phone or on Skype. So I have an absolutely crazy, awesome leveraged lifestyle that we now build our network marketing business through. And uh, if you want to learn more about about that system, make sure that you register for the upcoming live class that we have at tanyaliza.com forward slash 43 download. There'll be a button below the video. It'll be yellow. You want to click it and you can get yourself registered for that training. And I'll share with you exactly what we've been doing in our business since 2010. That's been working so, so well. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tanya Eliza TV. If you did, make sure to drop me a comment. Let me know what you liked most about it. Make sure to share it with anybody that you feel would find value in this information. They would be excited and happy that you shared with them as well. And we will see you on the next episode of Tanya Eliza TV.